Well, if your weekend or summer plans include a trip to the lake, beware. You could be sharing the waters with some slithery friends. I don't know if I'm ready for this story. News Channel 5's Ted Cortan braved the beaches and has a look at the snakes in the lake. Just look at all these snakes. On hot, humid days, folks are finding them all around the western basin of Lake Erie. I am petrified of snakes. That's Rhonda Rainey. Her fear of snakes is why she's sitting in the car while her husband fishes across from Cedar Point in Ottawa County. I will not go help him if he gets into a snake's den. <laughs> the serpents out here are northern water snakes and a subspecies, the endangered Lake Erie water snake, which I'm told is about to be removed from that endangered list. I don't like snakes too much. <laughs> I don't like them too much. So I keep my distance. Boater Ben Reynolds says they live all along the rocky limestone shoreline, and that's where we found them. Now, here's a picture of the piles of snakes Paul Longlot has seen. Look in the water there, and you see them. Sure enough, right outside his lakefront cabin door, cruising past the little beach, was this slithery swimmer. I completely understand. It's kind of scary and gross. Kristen Stanford is a snake researcher. She explains an abundance of goby fish is behind the snake boom. Their population growth rate has all exploded since the round gobies came in. And so this is why people are seeing so many snakes. She says the snakes are even helpful controlling the goby population, which competes with and can be harmful to our tasty Lake Erie bass. The good news is they're not venomous animals. It's not anything that you have to worry about as far as your pets, as far as your kids, as far as getting in the water and swimming. So bottom line, sure there's snakes here. There's also lots of fish and other wildlife, and actually it's all pretty cool to see. On your side in Ottawa County, I'm Ted Cortan, News Channel 5.